Let me show you why your website is not showing up on Google and how to actually fix it quickly. I operate multiple blogs and websites and I've seen it all. I've had my websites appear on Google, but then all of a sudden get removed altogether. And then I've had those blog posts show up on Google, but rank nowhere near the top 10 search results. This video is for all website owners, such as bloggers or local businesses. I will help you find a solution in every possible scenario on what you might have when it comes to not having your website showing up on Google. Now, before we move on, I would highly recommend you checking out my free blogging masterclass. I've left a link to it in the description. In this masterclass, I teach you everything you need to know to start a successful blog and how to actually grow your website to the next level this year. So first and foremost, how do you actually know if your site is on Google or not? Well, you can use the site colon operator. So basically just open up Google, type in site colon and then your URL. So for example, if your website is called example.com, you can see all the pages and posts that are showing up on Google by Googling site colon example.com. Now, if this gives you an empty page, or if you are not seeing your blog posts or pages in the results, this might mean that Google is not showing your posts and pages on the search results. Nonetheless, let's start with one of the most common scenarios. So you have just launched an awesome website, but there's no way for you to find it on Google, not even if you type in your own business name or the website name. Now, the solution is actually very simple. You need to wait patiently. It takes a really long time for Google to discover new blogs, websites and pages, and it can easily take weeks or even months before you actually see your website show up on Google. For me, sometimes it takes a couple of days, but also sometimes it might take months. And this is especially true with the individual pages and blog posts that you're going to publish on your website. So the next common scenario is that you have just launched a website and you have already published some blog posts and pages to it, but you can't find those on Google by searching for those keywords that you're targeting with those pages. For instance, you might have blog posts such as how to start playing tennis, or you might have a web page that promotes tennis coaching services in your town, but you're still not finding your website as a result when you type in something like tennis coaches near me. Now, the first solution that is easy to implement is to start a Google My Business account. This helps you target those near me or close to me searches on Google. So basically by doing this, you're putting your business and yourself on the map with Google. So you're, you're not only showing on the Google search results when somebody types in something like tennis coaches near me, but you're also showing up on Google Maps when people are looking for services via their Google Maps application. And the next solution is a tricky one. So basically, if you're not ranking high for those search phrases, such as how to start playing tennis or what are the best tennis shoes, then there is a ton of work you need to do. So basically your website is relatively new probably and it doesn't have a loud voice in the room. Google simply doesn't trust your website enough to show it high in the search results. And I hate to bring you the bad news, but this can easily mean years and years of hard work. So basically for me, when I see that my blog posts and pages are not ranking high on search results, I usually have to write hundreds of quality blog posts to the website. So for instance, if you're running a local tennis business and you want to rank high for keywords such as tennis coaches or best tennis shoes or how to start playing tennis or whatnot, you need to write a ton of quality content related to tennis. So basically you need to turn yourself into a blogger or at least hire a blogger to your team that writes hundreds and hundreds of quality blog posts about tennis. And this is simple. The more information you pour into your blog and website, the higher the chances for Google to trust your website because the more content you cover, the higher the credibility of your website and the more useful it actually is for your audience and target group. And that's when Google starts to actually trust your website and show it higher on the search results. Now, the next scenario is where Google has actually showed your website and web pages and blog posts on the search results, 
but no longer does. So let's say that you have launched a website like a couple of weeks or a couple of months ago and you have some content in it and it has already appeared on Google search results but then all of a sudden Google decides to remove some of those. Now the solution is simple. You also need to wait. I have had this happen to multiple websites and blog posts and usually this is nothing to worry about. The bad news is that there's, I think, really not much you can actually do about it if this happens to your website. But the good news is that those pages will typically return to the search results after a couple of weeks or a couple of months. For instance, I had one blog post that was on Google for a couple of months, then it went out for six months, and I was sure that this blog post is never going to return or do anything good to my website but I still decided to keep it there. And now I noticed that almost a year after publishing the blog post and almost like six or seven months of being out of the index, it has finally come back to Google and actually started to skyrocket in traffic. And this blog post brings a couple of hundred bucks every single year, assuming that it keeps the traffic level it now has. So there's pretty much no clear cut answer as to why this happens. Nonetheless, this must be some testing that Google does behind the scenes and it's nothing to worry about. A funny way to think about it is that Google tests how well the world works with or without your blog post. Now the next scenario is probably something that most people with Google Search Console have seen at least a couple of times. So if you have connected your website with Google Search Console, you might have seen that Google Search Console might say that a particular page or blog post is on Google, but if you're using the site operator or if you're using your keywords, you're actually seeing that it's not on Google. And the solution to this is simple. Just wait. I've had this happen to multiple websites and blog posts and I have never really discovered as to why this actually happens. The reason why I don't really worry about this issue or haven't even really tried to figure out why this happens is because usually things settle within a couple of days. So if Google Search Console claims that the blog post is on Google, it probably is, but due to some particular optimization or whatever reason, it's just not showing up on Google right at the moment. But nonetheless, that's something you shouldn't really worry about. So thus far, I have covered most common reasons as to why your website, web pages, or blog posts are not showing up on Google. And to put it short, usually you just need to wait. If your website is not found on Google after a couple of days of launching, it is way too early to worry about any issues in your content or website. But then there are those technical issues that are very easy to check that might physically prevent your website from showing up on Google. So don't just go anywhere yet because I will actually show you some easy things you can do to make sure that there are no technical issues preventing your website from showing up on Google. So first and foremost, make sure that your blog post content or website content is not thin. And what I mean by this is that your content shouldn't just repeat what people have already told on the internet. So if your page or blog post is just repeating stuff that has already been told millions of times before, there's no reason for Google to show it up on Google search results because it's just eating up space. And these days, when people use AI tools like ChatGPT to write blog posts, this is a very common issue. The content is long and detailed, but it is absolutely not adding anything new to the table. This kind of content is what Google absolutely hates and it's never going to show that kind of stuff on Google search results. So to remedy this issue, you need to write blog post content that's actually valuable and unique. So you need to take your own images. You need to share your own valuable experiences and knowledge. You need to share your own takes and you need to make the content better than anyone else has ever written prior to you. You did need to do more research than your competitors. You need to test things out more carefully than your competitors. So for instance, if you're writing a review about tennis shoes, it is definitely not just enough for you to write a blog post that quickly recaps what the product page of those shoes actually tells, but you actually need to try out those shoes in different contexts and scenarios and share the experience with those shoes and share the pros and cons and share images and show how you actually like those shoes instead of just repeating stuff that has been already told. 
Now, the next more technical issue that might prevent your website from showing up on Google search results is having a manual penalty. So open up Google Search Console, then check the Security and Manual Actions tab and click on Manual Actions. If you see no issues detected, you're good to go. But if this section shows you some issues, you need to address those quickly because those are issues that somebody on Google team has actually manually placed on your website and those can easily prevent from all your pages and content from showing up in Google search results. Usually this doesn't really happen unless you have done something crazy on your website. Now the next common reason why your website might not show up on Google is that you have accidentally asked Google to leave it out altogether. To fix this, open up your website builder such as Wix or Squarespace or WordPress or whatever you're using and navigate through the settings and try to find something like allow Google search engine to show this website on the search results. Make sure that these kind of checkboxes are checked and there is no setting that would actually prevent your website from showing up on Google search results. Now you might wonder as to why these kind of settings are there, but if you're just building your website, it might be convenient for you not to show it on Google just yet. And because of this, many website builders might actually automatically place those new websites into the construction mode where they are not actually showing up on Google. And this can very commonly prevent new websites and blogs from showing up on the search results, even when there's absolutely nothing wrong with the website or content. Now the next technical issue in line is building backlinks. So if you have watched any SEO tutorials or other content creation strategy videos, you might have seen that they always suggest building backlinks. But unfortunately, this information is outdated and you should never build backlinks to your website. So if you have asked somebody to link to your website or if you have paid for those backlinks or if you are spamming your website URL to different forum posts, that might be fishy activity that Google detects and wants to remove your website from the search results altogether because it's only trying to manipulate the search results instead of actually providing value with quality content. So do not build backlinks. If you have never taken part of this, that's probably nothing to worry about. But if you have paid for backlinks or if you have been part of link building schemes where people link to one another's websites without actually providing any value with quality content, then this might also be an issue with your website. And at this point, I must mention that the last three issues are very technical. These three reasons are less likely, but still potential issues that might prevent your website from ranking on Google. Nonetheless, let's take a look at those to actually cover the topic entirely. So first and foremost, there might be a page loading issue on your website. So if you have a website that has been built from scratch with code or with a very, very old website builder, you might want to actually run it through the page speed inside report and see if it actually loads very slowly. If your website is slow, Google wants to refrain from showing it on search results to not frustrate the searchers. And to prevent your website from being slow, you would need to implement image optimization strategies, caching, and also you might want to integrate your website with a content delivery network such as Cloudflare to actually optimize the load speed times as well. Now the next issue is related to mobile issues. So if you have coded your website a long time ago or used a very old website builder, it might have not taken into account the fact that people are using mobile phones to make searches these days. And those websites might work perfectly on desktop applications, but they might look absolutely terrible on a mobile device. And this is definitely not what you want. Well, if you build your website with like Wix or WordPress and you use those common themes, this is probably not something you will ever need to worry about. If you have built your website from scratch or if somebody has built it from scratch or an old technology that doesn't worry about mobile devices, then you might be in trouble because Google actually wants to index pages mobiles first. So they want to take into account the fact that actually people search for results with their mobile devices. And if a page is not looking good on mobile devices, that might never rank high on Google or not even show up in the search results. 
And last but not least, make sure that you have an SSL certificate. In other words, your website should use HTTPS instead of HTTP. The HTTP is an old protocol that was used back in the day, but these days Google doesn't really want to show those HTTP websites on the search results. And as a matter of fact, modern browsers such as Chrome or Safari even warn you if you're visiting a website that starts with HTTP instead of HTTPS. So you see this like unsafe website or unsecure or whatnot in the top bar before you visit the website. So if your website doesn't have an SSL certificate, it doesn't show up on Google and people won't visit the website because of all those red warnings that you're going to trigger with the HTTP instead of HTTPS. Well, that's a whole bunch of reasons as to why your website might not be showing up on Google. But after all, I must mention that most of the time it's just the fact that your website is new and you haven't really published a ton of quality content to it. If you have built your website with tools like Wix or WordPress or Squarespace, you probably don't have any SEO issues or technical issues you would need to worry about because all of those are taken care for you without you having to worry about it. And also if your site is like just a couple of months old and it doesn't really have a ton of blog posts or content pages in it, Google simply might just not have discovered it just yet. So it's nothing to worry about. So just keep on pushing, make your website useful for people in your target audience and make sure that every single page and blog post add something new to the table and is actually useful for people and solves problems instead of just repeating stuff that is already there. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day.